Welcome back to Swiss Watch Expo. Today we're following up on my video from the Yellow Gold Pro Master I did a few weeks ago. Today we have the beautiful white gold model, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Swiss Watch Expo. Today we're going over the beautiful Rolex Pearl Master. And Rolex originally introduced the Pearl Master models around 1992 as their first like jewelry watch. And you can see a lot of tones on here that does make it that kind of jewelry watch that happens to tell time. And there's just so much to love about these timepieces here. A few weeks ago, I did a video on this beautiful green dial in the yellow gold. And today we have a new one in our collection here, which is in the white gold with the beautiful gradient from the uh, pink to the bluish uh, sapphires on the bezel here. So this one is a really beautiful look. And I love the, the timepieces in white gold because it's a very understated kind of look. It's for someone that wants to feel that elegant look without always having to look have that rich look on their wrist. Um, especially with yellow gold, it has a little bit more wrist presence, whereas white gold is just going to be a little bit more toned down, probably going to be a little bit easier for you to wear on a daily basis if you chose to uh, do so. Um, but of course, with this model right here, you do have that beautiful red grape dial, which I just absolutely love. To me, it's more of like a purplish kind of color, but I think it pairs really nicely with the natural sapphires on the bezel here. You do actually have about 48 sapphires on the bezel. These are all baguette cut. So if you know anything about cutting gemstones, cutting the baguette uh, shapes on these sapphires is really difficult, let alone color matching them to have this beautiful gradient look is just a piece of art from Rolex and I love this kind of look on here especially on the um, the yellow to the blue and then the pink to the blue on this model here I think Rolex just really hit it out of the park with these recent models love the diamond hour markers on here and then of course you have the six and nine with the pave diamonds that they were actually able to fit about 32 diamonds on both of the three uh, six and nine hour markers there which is just phenomenal I don't know how they do it but everything all put together on this beautiful 18 karat white gold uh, casing and bracelet is just absolutely stunning. It is a very solid bracelet here. So really, really nice feel. If you've never held anything that was 18 karat gold, it's going to have a little bit of weight to it. But you're going to feel that premium feel on the wrist, especially with the additional weight on here. Love the hidden clasp right here that you can just easily open up and open up that clasp. Taking a look at the back, it is just a closed case back here. I am waiting for Rolex to release this model with an exhibition case back because they have started doing those models in about 2023. So I am very hopeful that Rolex is going to start continuing to do that on their uh, next models coming up. You do have your date wheel over here at the three o'clock, which is also very useful to have. Some people forget about it, but once you really need it, it is very nice to have that date wheel function on the three o'clock right there. Again, just a very stunning timepiece. We do have these two available in white gold and the uh, 18 karat yellow gold models. These are just absolutely stunning. Leave a comment down below. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the, the 18 karat white gold or the 18 karat yellow gold? I think for me personally, I wear a lot of yellow gold jewelry, so I'm probably going to lean more towards the yellow gold. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 